setting up the Samsung Galaxy S7 for the first time. So this one just get out of the box. So we will we'll, um, uh, turn it on by pressing on the power button. Make sure that you have uh, insert the SIM card already. So the top here is the SIM tray. You can insert the SIM card in here with a um, tool. Once it is turned on, so this phone here is branded to my network carrier. But if you are getting on the phone upright, then you may not see the brand. So say welcome. I'm just going to tap on start, and you can uh, connect to your Wi-Fi at this point if you wanted to by simply tapping that. Then uh, putting in the Wi-Fi password. So I might as well do it now while uh, I have the chance. So put in the password and tap on connect. You will connect to Wi-Fi and tap on next. Okay, it's got terms and conditions. Just tap on accept and tap on next. Tap on agreed. So it's a checking internet connections and software update. And you can see it's flick really fast, so everything is really fast. So you say, do you have another device? If you do, you can uh, sign in and copy information from a different account to this device. At this point, I just choose no thanks and tap on next. And yeah, say so check informations. And yeah, say, so do you want to sign in with Google? I'm going to skip for now. If you have an account, you might want to sign in because you might miss out some of the great features if you skip. So here, at this point, you can type in your name. So I put in my name and tap on done, then tap on next. Then from here, it say set up email. Do you want to set up email right now? Oh, you can just skip. So I choose not now, and I'll do that at a at a later point. And tap on next. Protect your phone. Do you want to use fingerprint, set up a pin, or no? Thank you. If you uh, want to protect your data, so your phone's data in your phone. So if you get lost, you can uh, try to um, protect the information inside the phone. You can set up a fingerprint right now, or use pin or pattern, and tap on next. So you can um, choose a pin, for example, and I just choose one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and tap on done. And next is the notification screen. Let's say, um, do you want to show notifications on the lock screen or not? You can either show high or do not show notifications at all. So we just choose the default, show content, and tap on next. And then you say, use the fingerprints. Do you want to use the fingerprints? I'll just say later. And it's got Google services, so we go all the way down and tap on next. So choose what you want. So um, choose the option. We go through here and see what you need or you don't need. You can deselect by simply deselecting the checkbox. And tap on next. Now from here, it says uh, you need to sign in with a Samsung account. You can either sign in or you can go all the way down and skip. By uh, skip skipping the Samsung account uh, sign in, you may miss out a lot of services again. So make sure you sign in so you can use um, features such as um, Galaxy Apps, S Health, Pharma Mobile, Milk, and Samsung Pay. Uh, you can sign in at a later at a later state. So I just skip. Now say copy content from all device, so we can use the smart switch adapter. So this adapter, if you want to um, use this adapter, you can simply just plug it in at the bottom here, and then using a USB cable, plug into that with your old phone. For example, this one over here, you can plug the cable into here and into here, and it will start to um, copy content from the old device to the new one. At this point in time, I will just simply skip and I will do that later. So you will have the opportunity to go back in here and do it later. So just tap later and then here it says you want to use easy mode or you can use the standard mode. And uh, you will choose the standard mode and I will tap on next. Now it says my knocks, do you want to use a secure space? So with my knocks is a, a special uh, workspace. That when you uh, sign in, it give you a, like a, uh, a separate account where you can store your data there. And once you sign off, all your information is now secure and no one can see it. 
If you don't want to use it, simply uh, tap on finish or you can tap on finish and install. So at this point I will just tap on finish. So there are quite a lot of uh, steps to go through before you can even get to, uh, to this uh, screen right here. And this is the standard user interface similar to the S6. Where on the left hand side is a flipboard, um, a news reading. Then you got a few um, home screen. So again, once you uh, log in or once you start the phone, there's a reminder uh, to use the smart switch to copy the content over. And that's it. That's how you can uh, set up your Samsung Galaxy S7 for the first time. Now we'll skip a lot of the sign-in because um, we want to get to this screen quickly. But any time, at any point in time, you can always go into Apps, Settings. And here you can go into the Accounts to sign in down here somewhere so there should be accounts here and you can always uh, tap on add account Samsung account or Google account to use uh, Tau's uh, extra services and that's it thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos